D. Perlst asked, um, can I mention anything about the legendary fight with uh, Donnie Yen? Donnie Yen is an excellent martial artist, knows exactly what he's doing. And um, when we first met, you know, um, he didn't speak as much English as he does now. Uh, obviously, that was 20 something, 20, no, maybe less than 20 years ago, but still. Um, so the thing was, he was very much into his martial arts. He knew how to choreograph things. I learned something valid from Donnie was camera angles of when you're doing action. I also learned that when we were actually doing the, the, the sword sequence, um, he had a very long staff with a bladed weapon on, on each one side of, no, one side of it. And, um, when we used to fight, uh, we would have aluminum weapons. And when he was fighting, when he, what he was used to in the, I guess the Hong Kong theater of uh, filmmaking was weapons made out of lighter material. And so he said, no, 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 this weapon's too heavy. We were not going to be able to fight with it. So he had his made out of, out of a very light balsa material. And uh, so I had to have my sword made out of a light balsa material because otherwise it would just break his, his weapon. And therefore he could speed the, the, um, the timing of it up and didn't have to speed the actual uh, film up afterwards. But it did have its issues because it's still a very long piece of weapon against a shorter weapon and mine kept breaking. And uh, they'd be making my swords uh, while we were on set, just literally, um, you know, putting them together because they break and they put them together. And you know, obviously they're made out of wood and they'd be spray painted in silver. Today, you have a lot more uh, pieces that are made of uh, bamboo rather than this type of balsam material, which kind of breaks very easily. And this type of material is used a lot in filmmaking. Don't think it's it's very heavy weapons that swing like that. Because the problem with film compared to um, real life is that film you want to have like 15, 20 strikes. In real life it's two or three and it's over. Because you can't hold the weapon up for that, minute, that, for that long. To actually have a sword fight with that would take a considerable amount of effort and, uh, and strength. So... Um, our hand fight with Donny was different because Donny's very used to it. I was used to a different style. He was a better martial artist than I was. Um, and my teacher, who was advising me on the time, um, had said to me, you know, what you have to also look at is the takes. Because a lot of the time when we did takes, they would be like two or three moves and then cut. And two or three moves and cut. Or four or five moves and cut. And what he said was, he, he noticed that what was Donnie was doing was he'd do his one, two, three move, and then he'd move into another set, another type of move, which always made it on the cut look like he was still engaged in the fight or the aggressor. So our two, three moves turned into four, turned into five sometimes, because I would continue doing the same type of thing against him. So it was an interesting chess game, if you like, that uh, that we played together on, on this uh, on this film. But uh, I really respect for his uh, his knowledge and his abilities because he's uh, he's he, he does know what he's doing. What do you guys think?